you. Well, there's going to be plenty of cleanup all across the Chicago area today after yesterday's storms. Could be argued that Elgin got the brunt of it. Imagine not one, but a pair of tornadoes. We've got Joni there surveying the damage. Good morning. Well, the good news is that uh, people are not hurt. But there is so much damage here in this neighborhood in Elgin. I've got John and Mike who just walked out of the house and we're up all night dealing with this. <laughs> Tell me what you experienced. Um, I don't know, it was 4, 4.30. I don't even know exactly what time. We were all in the house. My wife was cooking dinner for us. And my phone went off, says tornadoes. So I went, I told everybody, let's get downstairs because it started to rain really hard. And the wind started picking up. By the time we got to the basement steps to go downstairs, it hit. It was that fast. And oh, yeah. the noise, oh, my God, it was incredible. And the stuff was hitting the house. So, you can hear it. Uh, what, what could you hear? <laughs> what was it like? The stuff hitting the windows and yeah. you got to hit dirt. You got to go down. Yeah, you so, got to move fast. It yeah. only lasts about 30 seconds. Really? Uh, yeah, by the time we got even downstairs, it was already done. Yeah. It was just went through so fast. Well, we're looking um, at your garage. I'm which sorry, is I'm a, getting emotional. I understand. But I'm not <laughs> trying to be strong, but yet. It's, I'm sorry. Your garage, uh, it looks like you had some uh, machinery in there. Yeah, car, I got car. a really nice There's motor a car in there? Yeah, There's a, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, your motorcycle? My yeah, nice please. motorcycle was in there. My, you can see my lawnmower. I have two of them. And uh, yeah, yeah, I don't nice know lawn. what's... <laughs> I have them. And know. above that, we can see one of the trees that's that snapped off. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, in your front yard, it looks like six or seven of them. Yeah, we have probably approximately about 60 trees, mm -hmm. and I bet you almost all of them are gone. Yep. If you go in the back, they're all gone. Seems like it. And a lot of them that we can see now are uprooted and lying, oh, yeah. laying down. Yeah, a lot um, of them. So last night, you did do some cleaning up, it looks like. Um, we didn't really clean anything here. Just the roof people that came and did the roof. So, so a tree went through your roof? Well, no, some branches and stuff, that debris or whatever went through. Mm -hmm. That's There was like seven big holes up there. Oh, gosh. Good thing it didn't get any more rain after that, huh? Right, yeah. Now, uh, your truck was out here, is that yes. right? Yes. And uh, is there damage to that yeah. with all that whipping around? Just a couple, well, well windows blew out on this side, Dad, looks know. like. A window was out? Yeah, window on the driver's side. Oh, on man. the cap, it was blown out. You can't see it from this angle, but... Yeah, it's all right. It's fixable. Yeah, sounds like you got yeah. to shelter in time. Where to, where to start, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> okay, this vehicle here, it stayed in place, yeah? Yeah, parents RV. Yeah. So. That got damaged, too. Yeah. It's damaged, too? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I, th I thank you both for uh, sharing this story with me. I am so sorry you're going through this. Um, but you can see all this damage just at this one property along the street. There are trees down everywhere here in Elgin where there were reported a pair of tornadoes. Uh, I don't know if that's been confirmed yet. Reporting live, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you. You know, Joni, Scott and I were just listening to your interview, and, uh, you know, thank goodness everybody is okay and alive. Yeah. But you can hear the emotion in their voice. But, you know, when he said, and when it happened, you, we just hit the dirt. It, it, that just says it all. It should say it all to everyone if they hear uh, the warnings that it happens in an instant and now you are seeing the damage that also happens so quickly. Exactly. Pancaked his garage. Just an example of why you have to take these things so seriously. All right, Joni, thank you very much for that report. Nice job out there with Vic, too.